Uh, Matt must be really pleased with not only the result but the, the manner of the performance as well. Yeah, I thought we were excellent today, James. I thought that's up there with one of the best performances I've seen from Warrington team. Um, got a bit of everything. We had a bit of, a bit of quality at times, you know, a bit, a bit of grit, a bit of determination, a bit of a bit of togetherness and teamwork. And you know, I think that that performance had a bit of everything against the top team. And let's let's not kid ourselves. If you finish above them, you probably win the league. We we are pleased that the goal really came against the runner that play in the first half. We are pleased that you sort of stuck to what you were doing rather than panicking after going behind. Yeah, I think it was a poor goal. I might have to believe it's offside, but that's what keeps happening to us a little bit. And you know, we had four or five good opportunities, and then obviously before we got the penalty, so it was like, well, just keep going, just keep going, it'll change. It'll... And it did. And I feel like good, good play and stuff we've been working on, and forward runs from midfield players, and little bits and pieces that we've been doing, it, it, it come out today. And you know, I thought, I thought we, you know. In my opinion, we'll follow the other one. What do you think about the penalty? Do you think that was a, it was a soft one? How did you see it? From quite from where we are, a long way away. I just I thought Bow oh, made contact with the ball. The, the lad might have got a bit of the ball. Don't we? Don't really know. But James, we've had one penalty all season. You know, teams have had eight or nine. You know, we've had one. So who would you want? Yeah, and and obviously Steph pulled that away with obviously Sean, who obviously was struggling with a bit of illness. Didn't. We weren't expecting really to play at all, and then comes on, and that free kick was actually critical in the end. Yeah, um, and, that, and that's the character of Sean as himself, but also the you know the group of players we've had, like everybody probably sickness bugs, we've had injuries, you know. But the lads want to be involved, they want to play, and lads are playing, and lads that come in and taking the chance, and the lads that are out and gonna have to fight their way back in, and it, it, what we want competition for places because we haven't had that. You know, we've got a good squad of nineteen. 19, 20 players, but we've never had a week where we've had to leave anyone else. And uh, that, that you want that headache as a manager because if everyone's firing, then you know things are going well. Yeah, there was obviously quite a few of them were up here watching the game. Game of us, you brought a goalkeeper in, and, and really he didn't really have a great deal to do. I think he made one save with his legs in the first half, and then maybe a couple of crosses in the in the second half that he came out and did well. How? How impressed were you with it, or how difficult is it to bring somebody in into the environment who's not been there to, to do yeah, a job? It's, it's been a difficult week, obviously, you know, to well, well expose what's happened with the club and, and, and with, with since last Saturday. So it, it's been a difficult week. We've managed to, you know, full, full, full marks to our goalkeeper coach, Mark Hanning. He's been on the phone non stop. You know, me and him have been, must have spoke to him more than right this week. And we managed to vote and we thank them a lot for giving us for giving us uh, McKenzie for today. And he didn't let us down, did he? I thought he was excellent. I thought for him to come, such a big game and a tough day. And, you know, and he done excellent for us. In the second half, the, the pattern of the game seemed to, it didn't seem to change a great deal, but it seemed to get to a bit of a stalemate. Mm. Did you think that it was going to be, did for a long time, look like it might have to go out at 1 1? Yeah, I think. From where we are, the conditions are worse than you think. It's windy, it's it's spiralling the wind, and I think it was it, it was a lot of throw-ins, weren't there? And I don't think any team got a sort of a settle on the game. And we just said on our subs, hopefully, will come on and give us that bit that bit of control that they did. And you know, it was a good goal from great great goal for second goal. Obviously, the free kick. About time scored a free kick, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. There was a few comments when you beat South Shields a few weeks ago in the trophy that they had a bit of a weak inside, and now you've done it again. Is it another way of showing like? You know, you are contenders, and, and you know we are a good team, and, and we could be up there. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think you know we've got a good squad, we're a good team. We don't look too 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 far forward. We've we've got to take them inconsistencies out of our game, which you know we spoke about me and you loads of times. If we're not on our game, we don't we don't pick up points, and that's what we've got to change. Because I'm guaranteed between now and the end of the season, there'll be times we're not on our game, and we've got to pick up points in them days. Um, when we do play well, we tend to pick up points. So it's important we you know. We do both of them jobs really. And obviously we've got another home game next week against Daily Bridge. Usually managers talk about it being a busy Christmas period, but the way the fixtures have gone this this season, you you're pretty much just playing once a week now for mm. for a prolonged period. So I suppose in some ways that's that's good. In some ways it's bad because you, you maybe don't get as much momentum. But where are you at in terms of players coming back and on Mitch was missing today? Um I think Jordan will start training next week, which is a huge boost for us. But obviously, we've got to be careful with him because he didn't have a pre-season and he's not been off for like 13, 14 weeks. So we'll have to just ease him back into it. Um, obviously, Josh will be banned for a couple more weeks. Tony will be back next week. Um, Sean was ill, really ill this week. Mitch is ill, so hopefully they'll recover by you know fully by next weekend. So we should have you know healthy competition for places at that point. Do you, do you set any targets? Obviously, I think what is it now? Five games left, five six games left until the new year. 
do you set targets of what you want to get from them games or is it a case of we want to win every game that we go no, into? No, we've just got to look what's in front of us. We've got to look what's next week and, 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 and deal with that first because you know, I keep saying, I've said this all along to you too, that it's good teams in this league. And if, if you don't respect the teams or respect who you're playing against, you'll get a bloody nose. And It happened to us a few weeks ago against my last, and, you know, they were out of form but could turn up here and won 1-0. So we've got to be ready for every game and we've got to be on the top of our game all the time. I just want to ask you about Bowen Dixon, Mark. He had his, his paw prints over all three goals. I think the only thing really missing from his performance was a goal, really. Was that Bowen Dixon at his best, do you think? Yeah, yeah. You know, we, since I took over, he, you know, last the end of last season, he was unbelievable. And even through pre-season, then he got sent off and, you know, we couldn't get back in the team. And he's come back in the team and took his chance. You know, that's what you want. You know, you don't want to miss games because some people, that, that's what I want, that people come in and take the chance. And, I thought he played well last week in, in a difficult game and then I thought it was excellent today, he was outstanding. The big games turn him on, you know, it's, it's, it's his stage, it's his, it's his game and when he plays like that he's unstoppable. Yeah, obviously you mentioned John Buckley there, he's, he's starting to build his way back and as you said you will have to be careful with him but when you do get him back he'll be pretty much like a new signing won't he the, uh, with what he brings? Yeah, yeah, you know, we, if you if you if you said to us go and sign a striker, you know we'd sign Jordan, wouldn't you? So it's he's he's at the point there to give everybody a boost, give the supporters, give the players, give everybody a boost. Knowing he's around the squad, that you know, like the 20 minutes to go today, if he's in the squad, he comes on, he, he gives everyone a lift, doesn't it? And hopefully, you know, the key for Jordan is to stay injury free. You know, he's had a bad luck to be fair to him, and if he stays injury free till now the end of the season, then you know history tells you he scores goals.